everybody. Greetings from Nashville. It's 800 million degrees here today. Fabulous, very, very steamy, hot and sweaty. Anyways, I'm so delighted to be back with you again. It's been a while. I hope everybody is happy and healthy and fully vaccinated. Um, it almost seems almost like it was a bad dream, but um, but it wasn't. It, it was a, a really, a real bad dream. Anyways, um, I've had a very interesting year in terms of my creativity and how, how I work and um, how I want to move forward. So I've actually made some decisions. I'm going to sell the house in Nashville and move back to Chicago where I grew up. And I'm uh, really excited about that. And I've got some other things sort of in the works in the pipeline, but I don't want to say anything until everything is, um, has become legal. So anyways, um, I did um, a much more pared down color offering than I normally do. And I really did that with, um, surviving the pandemic in mind. Um, I've been a way too sort of broad and vast. I want to kind of like tighten things up and just be a little more, um, hopefully the end result is user friendly. So um, what I've got here for you today is most of the collection of the fall 2021 collection. And I did some repeats and I've also decided to do um, my black and white palette all year round because um, Honestly, I feel like a little bit of a fraud when I say, oh, here's the spring collection and here's the fall collection because, you know, I make t-shirts and I, and I really truly believe that you can wear a t-shirt all year round. I don't subscribe to that, you know, no, no, don't wear white after Labor Day. In fact, so many of the um, sweater companies around the world now offer these sort of like, you know, cuddle colors in their fall collections as well as their spring. So they, you know, they offer that soft gray, those soft pinks, those soft blues, those sort of light gray heathered oatmeals and heathered grays. Um, so they have seen that they sell very well all year round. So I say, do your thing, uh, you know, go with God and, you know, make yourself happy because we now know that we were taking everything way too much for granted <laughs> in the lives that we lived. So please yourself. And uh, with that in mind, I'm going to start. Um, so this one I did for spring, but it's really not. It's an all year color because it's got a black print on it. And this is a violet that I did, which on camera, it looks a little more blue, but let me see if I can equal that out for you. Okay. That's really a good true represent representation of it. It's it's a lovely purpley blue. And I did this beautiful um, uh, rose print, which is gorgeous. And here's the matching scarf. And I've got dark, dark blue jeans on. They're not black, but it would work. No problem. So that's beautiful. And I did that in my classic high-low style with the longer shirt tail hem with the pleat detail in the back. It's beautiful. And here was... This is the same hoodie that I'm wearing. This is a tunic length hoodie, and this is the side slit hoodie. And this is the soft uh, Supima Cotton Micro Modal hoodie. It's got a little bit of touch of spandex in it. And these are sized zero, one, and two. So the one will fit pretty much everybody. The size two will fit up to a size 16, and the size zero will fit um, you know, basically anybody from like a zero to an eight. So it just depends how you want it to fit because you've got a lot of wiggle room in there. So this one that you're looking at, this is a size one and I'm actually wearing the same body in my t-shirt fabric. And I did it cause I think it's, it's so good on the body. It's got so much great drape. I still have the side slit, which, you know, releases tension around there. And I just think it's a great piece. It is a hoodie. Here's the tie and it's a little hood in the back. And it's just a lovely, casual, easy piece. So that's that in the violet. And then I also did the little uh, cropped flare pant in the violet with the black rose. Now, I wanna talk about, you know, how you sort of like, how you, um, how you wear this and how you merchandise it on your own body. So, you know, I realized that it takes a very particular kind of woman to wear Annie Turban from head to toe. <laughs> it's a tall order. I get it. 
So I think the best thing and the best way, the way I like to wear my stuff the most is, you know, either the, the print on the top with a solid on the bottom or the print on the bottom with the solid on top. And I think it just is um, formulaic and simple and you don't have to think about it too much and it's easy. So that's what I would put with these pants or you could do like a really cute little crop top if you're that person. It's just a beautiful little crop sweatshirt. It's that same beautiful Suprema Modal fabric. Okay. Then I did this. Is the same violet underneath with this burgundy stripe on top. I'm wild about this thing. I can't even tell you how much I love this. So, looks a little redder than it is, but um, let me see if I can get it for you. That's probably right there, really what it looks like. And that was a beautiful print we did. And then of course I did it in the tunic sweatshirt. And I love the violet underneath because you get these sort of cloudy, you know, you do get a little bit of white, so it's not so heavy and laden with, you know, uh, darkness. But you could also put this on the bottom with the pair of, you know, just a pair of black pants. I think that's fabulous looking. Really special and smashing. You could also do something if you're really, really artsy, very funky. Here's a color combination that I actually kind of love, but it takes a special girl. <laughs> okay. So that was the violet with the burgundy, and then I did a lovely red group. So this is my t-shirt fabric that you all know, and this is a red that I do every single year in fall, and I usually do some sort of different black design on it. So this is a double tie-dye. So you've got, um, you've got the lines going this way, and then this is just a random tie-dye. And I, I love that it kind of breaks up the pattern, and I think it's just uh, smashing and fabulous looking. Great, just a great little t-shirt. This is the same um, uh, hoodie that I'm wearing, just really super casual. Love it with the dark jeans or with black. We look great with white also. I think that that would be smashing. And this is my um, sweatshirt. This is the fleece fabric. It does take the color a little bit lighter as you can see it's just a little it's a little more powdery um and you know all of these pieces all these colors can be ordered in all the different um styles that i do so you don't have to be you know glued to the way i'm presenting them here okay so this is the same um design the same tie pattern and isn't this beautiful this is a little cropped hoodie and this is the supima modal fleece this is that really really comfy cozy ooey gooey fleece that everybody loves. And when I first started doing all these sweatshirts, I had a heavier cotton that I was doing as well. And I thought, you know, one of these is gonna to float to the top. So I'm gonna move forward with this fabric because it seems to be the one that everybody likes the most. So this is a little cropped hoodie. It's not too cropped. It will cover the top of whatever jeans or pants you're wearing. And I did it, you can do it like this. I think that's a stunning pattern. And then I did it in, the ribbed t-shirt, this is a newer body for me. This is my, uh, this fabulous new fabric I found, it's a rib fabric. It's uh, cotton and viscose, feels like a million dollars. It has some really nice sort of spongy action thing that it does on the body. It's helpful on the body. Um, it's got a nice, just a nice little crew neck. And I did this little neckerchief, you know, so if you do have to, feel like you need to run in someplace and you forgot your mask, you can just throw that on and that's really lovely. And this comes sizes uh, zero to four. And I would wear the one in that. And then this is the same pattern sweatshirt. It's really, really great. Like it's super, super strong color. And you can see the difference because this is the heavy cotton fleece that I did. And you can see it's so different looking because it's much harder to tie this fabric because it's so thick <laughs> and really cumbersome. So you see it gets bleached out so much more. But I think that this is amazing. In fact, I think this would look you know, great on some tall chick, Jane Thomas, hello. Um, or, you know, or a dude, somebody who could really pull that thing off. And then this was this beautiful little crop sweatshirt. No hoodie, just a beautiful little clean boat neck 
lovely, same fabric, the cotton, the Supima Model fleece. And then I did these really great joggers, which are super, super fun. And like with this, I think, you know, you would just do something black on top. Or I think these would even be great with like this little crop top. Um, and you don't have to be perfect to wear this. These pants are really, really helpful in the body. They're the, uh, the, the French Terry, which is also very spongy. It gives you like a good weight, pulls you down, gives you a nice line. But anyway, that's a nice, clean, funky, edgy outfit. And then I did them also in the flare pant. Um, this was from the last season, but the same sort of process. I will be doing them up and down like these like these joggers. They can be ordered that way. And these are fabulous. Um, okay. Then I did a green group in this same process. And this is the cardigan. And it really is an olive green. It's just olive. And that's the uh, ribbed tank top underneath. A little bit better there. And these come size zero through four. Um, it does have a nice, comfortable upper sleeve. You can wear a sleeved shirt underneath it, although I wouldn't want to. Um, and also, you know, the tank top by itself also is a really sort of just really funky little piece. Great for the gym or, you know, yoga or Pilates or whatever. Okay. So here's the same colorway I did in the high-low. Beautiful. I, I can see this easily with black, but also back to white. White jeans would be fabulous. And then this is just the little cropped sweatshirt, and here's the matching scarf. Very, very pretty. That's the Modell scarf from Italy. And then this is exactly like the one I'm wearing, just in green. And I do love, I love the different pattern. I love that it's kind of straight and kind of like, you know, you've got your, your bamboo tie and then the crinkle up here. It's super comfortable, super easy. Just throw it on and go. And then I'm going to really kind of like sit on the crackle process for a while because I love it in all the different fabrics that I do. It's really equally gorgeous on all of them. So this is the cropped hoodie sweatshirt. Again, this is the French Terry. And you can see it is just so dramatic and so smashing. And it really is just a casual piece, but I think because of the dye work, it really kind of like elevates it and makes it a dressier piece. You know, with gold or silver jewelry, I think be gorgeous. And it will cover the top of your pants, whatever you're wearing. And so here are the pants, and this is a cotton stretch. And you can see how differently this fabric takes the dye. But again, I think so dramatic and so it's just really unique and special. And I could see this with like just a, a white t-shirt, a white tank top, you know, a little white sweatshirt would be so adorable with it. Or just a little crop sweatshirt again. I mean, it's really, these are easy pieces. I had about the best comp compliment of, of my life. One of my, uh, one of my customers who does trunk show in, um, Boca, Boca Raton twice a year. She's based out of New York, Janet Eden, with the clothing closet. And she, one of her customers set, bought like every pair I had in every color. Um, and she was, uh, she's uh, a bigger gal, she's size five. She ripped the phone out of Janet's hand and she said, Annie, these are the most comfortable pants I've ever worn. So, you know, getting feedback like that is so incredible and so important. And I was like, I, I, like I, I've had it, it was a good day. I've done something right. So they're super, super comfortable. They're eighty six percent cotton and fourteen percent spandex, and they suck you in in all the right places. Um, pre shrunk, won't lose their shape ever. They have too much spandex in them. So then, going with my black and white theme, this is just a leopard print on the same long flare pants. And I photographed it on my beautiful model two ways with the black and white roses, which is so amazing. Oh my God, look at that. Amazing. So isn't this just the coolest girl outfit? Like, oh, hi. Oh, hi. Um, no words necessary. So here it is with stripes. 
this did very well and I'm continuing it for the next uh, for the next season, probably two seasons, these black and white prints. I just love them. I think they're so funky and cool and you can make them super dressy or super casual, whatever you wanna do. Okay, so then in keeping with this rose print that I did, of course, no collection is complete without two or three greens, which is for me, but this is a beautiful kind of dark jewel tone peridot that we did with the black roses and then the scarf and it's smashing and it's just a simple no brainer. And there you go. And then I did a navy group and I know it's not a traditional navy because what I'm wearing is really a traditional navy, but this is uh, a hand dyed navy and that's what we got. And I loved it with the black roses on it. I think it is so pretty, so pretty. And again, I think this, this would be gorgeous with just either black pants or white pants, beautiful. And these I thought were very, very special in the long flare pant in the navy. You know, it's funky and it's edgy and it's a little bit rock starry. So you gotta have a little bit of nerve to wear it, but just keep it simple, put a black t-shirt on and roll baby. Okay, then I did this, I kept going with this dye that I was doing because I, you know, a lot of things because of the pandemic, you know, I, I sort of had a, a kind of a lost two collections um, that, you know, you work so hard on these collections and then, you know, I couldn't ship to my stores. And so I'm not really ready to let go of them. Like I don't really feel like I've scratched that itch enough. So um, anyway, so this is this beautiful navy and purple and you get these little touches of white where we don't completely saturate the garment, but it's such a pretty piece. This is the same top that I'm wearing right now. It's got the hood, it's got the side slit, really super comfortable, easy drape, and you could do it. This is a matching flare pant, but so this is a nice outfit. You know, people here in Nashville are actually wearing matching sweatsuits. Like they're wearing the top and the bottom that match. So. I, don't, I think that this one is actually nice to do as a set because it's not too overbearing of a color or pattern. And I think it's just like you can wear this all year round. The color is so perfect all year round. And then I also did this jogger. So I did the jogger in three fabrics. I did the jogger in the French Terry, in the uh, Supima Modal, that really ooey gooey one. And then this is just my t-shirt fabric. And these are fabulous. They're lightweight. If you're Florida or California or you know South Carolina, if you're you know Louisiana, if you're in Texas, these are super for you because it's my lightest weight and the drape is fantastic. They make you look skinny, which is great. They have pockets, so you're cool. Stick your hands in your pockets. So this is again the cardigan with the matching tank top underneath and the rib in the same purple and navy. So delicious, so yummy. You can see it. You get these kind of like, you know, this is purple and navy, but you get these, you know, other tones in it. You know, it's kind of like that, that pinky, coppery kind of color. It's so pretty. Love it. And then this was, this is the uh, soft fleece, the Supima Modal. Uh, really soft one, took it a little bit darker. I love it. I think it's dramatic and rich and deep and yummy. Love that piece. Okay, so the it color for fall, as far as all of the uh, color forecasts are saying from Europe and Pantone, is this uh, rust color. Um, so this color actually on their Pantone wheel is called Adobe, which I love. Um, and it's, it's just, it's so rich. It's like a perfect fall color. I love it. And then I did the black roses on it. I think it's so, so pretty. This is the soft fleece. And again, this is just a totally smashing outfit. I think that that is just adorable. Adorable and romantic. And, you know, not too over the top. And then I did the rust, sort of rust on rust print, which is very, very subtle. We'll probably beef it up a little bit more in production so we get a little, so you'll see the roses a little bit more. But I think this is just lovely. Um, these colors are not my go-to, you know, for my, my, um, 
uh, my wheelhouse and what I typically wear, I, I wear a lot of greens, I wear a lot of blacks, um, I will wear some blues. I've, I've branched out since I started doing this. I'll wear, you know, I love pink. I'll wear, you know, I'll wear any color green. I'll pretty much wear any color pink. But this is not my usual, but I think this is really, really beautiful. Like I would, I would for sure wear that. Okay. I did a lot of electric blues, and I know that some of you have seen this before, but it's absolutely too sm smashing to not continue. So it's just an electric blue with my black dot print. And I don't know if I have one of those scarves here, but this is a beautiful, um, this is a beautiful linen scarf from Italy. And so you have the same intense, intense electric blue. And I just did, you know, a uh, um, a stripe on it because I thought, you know, I love stripes, classic stripe girl, anything stripe. I think that looks fabulous together. Hello, amazing. So then you have the pants. And really, if it were me, I've got a big old, you know, slouchy, kind of slightly oversized cashmere sweater upstairs. That's what I'll wear these with. I think they're amazing or this with like a crisp white t-shirt, a crisp white sweatshirt would be so adorable and cute. And then here's the soft fleece, again in the tunic hoodie in this amazing, brilliant electric blue, which this color, I'm telling you, on any complexion, any hair color is absolutely a slam dunk. And then here are my greens, and I know you guys have seen the green dots, but I'm, again, I'm not ready. I'm not ready to let go of these yet. This is a green on green dot, just a tonal dot. Looks a little washed out there. This is a little more realistic. This is a beautiful, the rib t-shirt. And then I did my classic hoodie. You can see, see a little bit better there. It's really nice and dark and rich. It's a fabulous, you know, really kind of fabulous, like a hunter green. And here's the long one, the, the tunic hoodie. Love this so much. Love it with the matching pants. Okay, and then this piece that I'm wearing is actually a really interesting dye. It's, um, this is a navy and it's a vat dye, so it's a very strong dye. And at the same time when you add this dye, um, at the same time you're putting color onto the garment um, because the vat dye is chemical, it's pulling color out of the garment. So you get these, I don't know if you can see it, but you get these kind of like little halos so you almost you get a three dimension of color it's not like just a second color you always get a third thing that's going to happen and you never know what it is but it's always fabulous so this is another of the same and this one had a lot of saturation of the navy and actually the color underneath looks kind of like i don't even know what that looks like but it's actually the color that it starts first we dye it this color which is like, it's like a gray green. It's a color called stormy weather, Pantone color called stormy weather. I just liked the name, so I dyed it. But anyway, it gives you a little bit more of a base than if you just dye with the navy. So this is the center seam tee, which again, you know, just covers the rear end. It's a little, you know, little shorter in the front, a little longer in the back, has that nice slope. And this is beautiful, it's 198, sizes double zero, zero, one, two, and three, with a three fitting, a size 18, no problem. And then I did the pants. And just so you can see, you know, really, they are really all one of a kind because even though we do them together, you know, we got three people tying, and so everybody ties a little bit differently. And also when you put them in, the one that went in first is gonna be sitting in there maybe a little bit longer than the one that went in last. So you see a little bit more base color on this one and a little bit more saturation of the navy on this one. And I think they're so beautiful. And again, this just with, so this is a navy ruffled hem tunic that I did. Um, but I just love that. That's like, that's like a really sweet little outfit. Just like that, beautiful. So weird with the camera. But anyway, this is a this is just a solid navy. It's just trying to support my theory of print print on part of the body, solid on half of the body. So this is the same, but you see it takes a little color a little differently because of the fabric. This is the soft fleece, and then this was. 
This is a linen scarf. And so this is the Italian linen scarf. And I think that this is uh, absolutely dynamite. So I don't want to say that it's gold and it's certainly not green, but you can see it's it's pretty, it's pretty amazing. It's pretty special. It's different. And I like that it it's it's tonal. I like that it's a different texture. I think it makes it look, you know, not so matchy matchy and perfect. I like that it's uh, especially different textures. This is a beautiful piece. And these are $2.95. And those are imported from Italy. And then almost at the end here, again, you can see the difference. I can show you. So this is the sweatshirt, the soft fleece fabric, and this is that heavy, heavy cotton. I had a couple pieces left and I wanted to dye them because I still really, really love this fabric. And actually when you put this on, it's got, it's got some weight to it. So you really, you kind of take that chilly edge off immediately when you put this on because it is a heavy cotton. It's almost a 16 ounce fabric. So, um, if anybody loves this, let me know. I think I have two pieces only of that. And then here's the high-low. Beautiful. It's like a painting. And then this is a lovely top I did. It's the slightly more fitted top. It's my classic t-shirt fabric. It's got a lovely, you know, neck band crew neck and curved hem it's a little more figure conscious it's a lovely lovely piece and that um is the deal uh if anybody wants to book a zoom with me you are more than welcome to do so uh orders will remain i will take orders on any of this part of the collection up until for about the next 10 days so today is the eighth so till about let's say the 19th, then I have to close it completely. So uh, Annie at AnnieTurban.com. And uh, you can also call the office 615-942-8042. Thanks to Jonathan Brooke for loaning us her song at the beginning. I hope everybody's having a great summer and staying healthy. And I'll see you soon. Thanks so much for joining me.